Hello everyone and welcome to the video for Unit 8, Day 10. Today's video is about inverse operations, continuing our lesson from yesterday. This is part 2. And today's video is dedicated to Lolly in 6B. Hi Lolly! Alright, let's jump into it. So, yesterday we learned that inverse operations so inverse operations are operations that undo each other. So yesterday we talked about addition, how the opposite is subtraction, and how for subtraction the opposite is addition. Today we're talking about multiplication and division. So the inverse operation of multiplication is division. That's the opposite of multiplication. So, in order to undo multiplying by 5, you have to divide by 5. Right? Or, another way of writing dividing by 5 is if you have in the denominator over 5. Those are the same thing. And, the inverse operation of division is, and you can probably guess, multiplication. And so this means in order to undo dividing by 7, or if it's a number over 7, you have to multiply by 7. So let's look at two examples here. First, when we want to solve for x, here we have 8x equals 24. Okay? And remember, 8x is the same thing as 8 times x equals 24. So I'll draw my line down the middle of the equal sign so that I can remember that everything that happens on the left side also has to happen on the right side to keep it equal. So 8 times x, the opposite of multiplying by 8 is dividing by 8. So I'll put a dividing by 8, right? That's like putting 8 as the denominator, that means dividing by 8. And if I divide 8 on the left side, I also have to divide 8 on the right side. Okay? And I can start to simplify. So I had 8 times x divided by 8. So the 8 times and then 8 div divided by 8, that cancels each other out. So those are gone. And I'm just left with the x now. And this equals 24 divided by 8. That equals 3. So, I can get x all by itself, and I know that x equals 3. And the way that I can double check that my answer is correct is, let's go back to my original equation of 8x equals 24, but I'm going to substitute in my answer here if x equals 3. So then it would be 8 times 3 instead of x equals 24. Double check that this is correct. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 equals 24. Yep. All good there. Okay, so now let's try one that starts with division. So we're going to solve for y. We want to get y all by itself. We'll start by drawing a line down the middle for our equal sign. y divided by 6 equals 9. So for dividing by 6, right, the opposite, the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So to get rid of the dividing by 6, to undo that, I'm going to multiply this side by 6. And if I multiply 
times 6 on the left side, I also have to multiply times 6 on the right side to keep it equal. Okay, so then now I have the divided by 6 is being multiplied by 6, so the, those cancel each other out, and I'm just left with y on this side equals, and then 9, and multiply that by 6, so 9 times 6 is 54, and there's my answer. And let's check it. Let's do a check. So it was y divided by 6. Now, if y equals 54, it would be 54 divided by 6 equals 9. 54 divided by 6 is equal to 9. So 9 is equal to 9. Yep, that's correct. OK, so. From here, you can use these two examples, and I want you to finish the rest of page four. And if you finish page four and you don't have time, you can move on to page five, but definitely at least finish page four. And with that, we're all set. Good luck.